Hey guys, this is your boy Funtime the Destroyer, and today we are back with some more great battles of medieval. Now, in the last episode, as you can see from here, we had completed the mission of the Peasant Uprising. So, and we had earned a particular card that is called the Stand Fast card that increases the. It increases the uh, defensive abilities. So yes, I have it equipped. As you had it equipped when I was offline, I was trying to test it out, and um, I was um, getting experiences with my soldiers. So, as you can see, they had some experience from the last couple of episodes. And um, so yeah, so today we're gonna be trying to tackle the. Uh, the Battle of Overrush. And this mission right here is going to take a reasonable amount of decent soldiers, I should say. So, so today we're going to be recruiting some new, um, some new guys. We're going to be looking for a particular name, though. We're going to get cavalry. So we're going to look for some um, cavalry men that we want. I would take them, but I'd rather, rather have them than the archer. Okay. And I'm looking at the names, that's what I'm talking about. Not the, um... Wait. I'm trying to look for one. I'm trying to look for one and see if it actually comes up. No. I wish you they could like you can recruit and then put in a particular name. That way you can actually get that uh, the person that you want in your army instead of just doing this recruit and then this band is bad. So. Okay, here we go. This guy, uh, Lord Rose. So he's gonna be my early Lancer. Not right now. Well, yes, he's gonna be our early Lancer. Uh, lances are gonna be used later on in the game because due to the storyline. So today we're gonna be tackling this mission. Let's see if we can get some new weapons and gear. Uh, I have played this game before, so I already know uh, how to beat it and what tactics should I use to overcome the enemy. So yeah, I already know how to um, do everything from here. So, y'all may be wondering why I'm talking, and I'm probably y'all probably y'all probably wonder like. You can talk this whole time. And y'all probably like, why didn't you talk in the last four episodes? Well, I had like another video that I was going to upload from my PlayStation that was uh, supposed to be edited and uploaded very quick. But I had stuff to do and there was network issues. So I couldn't really, you know, put it up as I wanted to. So that was a bummer. But Right now, um, yeah, I'm back commentating on the videos. Yeah, I just want y'all to hear what I be thinking about playing these games or what y'all feel about me talking. I don't know. I just want y'all to hear me, see how, I, how I'm doing. And I wonder how y'all been doing today because I know that this quarantine has been going on for the past, you know, couple of months. I'm going to take a couple. I say, like, Several months for now, cause like this, this is ridiculous. But it's for the best, you know, because um, this virus is going on. Okay. Especially this doing quite well. Yes, I don't see that shit. They know this, but they don't get their experience. Experience that they do. Well, uh.
Oh, both of these guys on level one, but these guys are on horseback, so I'm wondering if they're gonna do actually gonna do some damage damage to them. Hopefully. Yeah, of course, I have to come in as support. Yeah, I gotta come in as support. These guys are gonna do that. Uh, but yeah, I've been going and making uploads for my commentator for the past, you know, months from now. And y'all you know, would have been wondering why I'd be like quiet on one of my let on my let's plays and then all of a sudden talking out of nowhere. It's because some sort of audio issue that's going on with my mic. I mean, I could talk. Like I said, I could have been talking. But at the same time, I already had uploaded a video that I'd be saying that I was going to come back on YouTube commentating. So, I was going to wait for that till I upload this video. So, me, yeah. uh. Oh, yeah, by the way, I might do some offline gameplay. Just, uh, just for leveling up my, uh, troops. Not for, like, you know, spinning and expanding. You know, spending my skill. I'm just gonna level up my troops and get them much stronger as they as they already are. Um, that way they become more powerful and more efficient in combat as they ever were. So, we're also gonna be doing that. Uh, I'm gonna put my axe right here. I'm gonna put my axe right here. In the last episode, y'all saw me fail this mission miserably. What I was trying to do was try to complete the mission without the archers. Because I did that multiple times. I don't know why that time. I'm pretty sure I messed up because the fact that my general, this soft butt right here, didn't even try, I mean, not even try to kill a reasonable amount of peasants that he was engaging to. Yes. After this mission, we're gonna tackle uh, Overrush. I'm trying to get it done quickly. See, look how many kills he got now from that compared to last time. But that was when, when we did it with probably Archers. These guys are going to be on my early Lancers, and eventually you're going to see these guys with heavy armor, heavy knightly armor, and um, just destroying the enemy lines with their big lances. So right now they're just using uh, spears and like the small shields. Well, not even the small, but the um, perfectly medium-sized ground shields. And uh, when I see people play this game, I don't know why, but they don't usually have a variety of their soldiers. Like, I don't see them having like spearmen, swordsmen, and their axemen in like in any of their armies. They just have like a good, a good amount of group of swordsmen. Like they have like two heavy infantry swordsmen, and then they have like. You know, two groups of uh, archers and two uh, two axes. The stuff that they equip that be the same, never be different. Which always makes me. I'm not unless they wanted to use it for that particular weapon. That's fine, but you know, to me, I just don't like that. I don't know why. I don't like that for some reason. It makes me it makes me feel like it's not well balanced in the army that's just what I feel but anyway we're going to be tackling this and we're going to be seeing how this mission is going to go so here we go the battle overrush let's do this full fearsome was the war and each victory a fleeting joy lands were won by France and then by England rulers switched as fast as day with night did one such contest flare. With Gascony to gain, the English had attacked the castle. Oops, oops. Oh, I need a Switch. 
contest flare. With Gascony to gain, the English had attacked the castle. Conquest was theirs, but the French moved swiftly. They laid siege and looked to have the upper hand. England sent the Earl of Derby, and he moved fast. The French were unprepared, and he came upon them from behind. Speed was of the essence, for if France regrouped, victory might yet slip from English hands. Okay, as y'all heard from the cutscene, the English has seen the Earl of Derby, which is this guy that's in my army as an archer, this guy right here, uh, that's level 5, um, they send him to stop the French from uh, being superior over their military power. So what they did was um, they attacked the French forces that was selling right here, this little big block. And they was, you know, destroying them with all they might, sending them, pulling them down with arrows, infantry, and then cavalry. So, now in this mission, as you can see for him, I mean, I only got six squads. You know, hopefully, they're going to be strong enough to do well. Hopefully. This is hopefully the best. But they are a little lower than our enemies, because some of these guys are... I mean, he's level 1, but he got a weapon this time. Like, the guys that we fought against, they had no weapon when they were higher level. Uh, these guys are here, this uh, crossbowmen. And then, we got some heavy infantry. So, we got three groups of heavy infantry. Heavy infantry. So, we got this swordsman, this axeman, this swordsman right here. Let me turn on the camera. I don't want you to hear a little bit, but probably still need to hear me while I'm commentating. And then we got another group of swordsmen, but this time he got a round shield, just like my guys had. But they don't have, like, the sword that I got. This sword, this long, purple sword, they just have the ones that we started with in the beginning of the campaign. And then we got two groups of peasants with uh, clubs, and then we got three groups of light spearmen. And then we got this light axeman, and then their general at the back. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let's see. We're gonna send our archer in, trying to wipe out this peasant archer that's sitting at the back, and we're gonna go into defensive mode. Cause the whole point of this mission is to let them wait and come to you, not for you to charge into them. So you're gonna have to play defensive on this one. Um, you do these missions. One way when people play this game, they just do the missions right away, just to learn more about the story instead of to level up their army and give them better gear. Um, I don't say that they're impatient of doing that. I don't know why they do that. To me, it's just not like it's not. It's just not right how you play the game like that. I mean, they could play how they want to play, but to me, that's just not how you play it. Um, those guys shot. They're not going to really do much damage because they're level 1. Uh, and now we're fighting. Um, they can uh, go help them in battle. These guys are level 1 though. My guys are a higher level. They shouldn't be getting killed that much. I mean, yes, they're going to die. But they shouldn't be really, like, you know, dying off that they're going to be. We are going to march up just a little bit. Just to help the nearby forces. I don't know if we're gonna lose or not. Hopefully not. But once that group comes, uh, we're gonna pull back because I do not want them to. Uh... See, the only reason why they attacked me is because they was trying to take that square right there, and I didn't let them. Okay, now we got. Okay. Yeah, they're fighting. They're fighting. 
See, these are spearmen, I think, we're going up against. So, these guys, yeah, these spearmen are, are actually easy to go up against in this game. If you have the, you know, highly skilled troops that you have. That you obtain in your army. So, if you have those guys, then you will not have to worry about the spearmen. You just need to worry about, like, the swordsmen and then the axemen. They can do some heavy damage. And then the cavalry is also... The, um, this force right here, so far we're doing well. We're doing actually well because normally, oh shoot, yeah, we just lost horse. That was the only one though. Yeah, so far we're doing highly well um, against these forces. They got more though. Oh yeah, they got like four more. No, five more that did not commit an action yet. So, uh, what we're gonna do is shoot the ones that's coming. We got like six. Oh yeah, they're doing yeah, they're doing absolutely fine. Yeah, you shoot that um you know, Yeah, yeah, look at them. We just need to flank them and then boom. We got we got it in the way. So far my archers did not engage in combat yet, which is good because uh they did. Uh, Let's increase the Spearman's uh, defensive abilities because I know they're going to be heavily out in that area. Yeah, they may not look like right now. Oh! Oh, shoot. Uh, this is bad because they broke them. Um, and um, they're not... Oh, yeah. And then the general, uh, hopefully... We eat kill their general because their general... If we kill their general, they basically lost. Yeah, we only kill one. We, we just need to make them rally. That's all. Oh, yeah, we might lose. Because, um, yeah, that part. Ooh. My swordsmen are doing well. Um, go help them. Yeah, go help them. Because, um, yeah, they're not looking right. Oh, oh, look at the action. They're doing, uh, they're doing well. They're absolutely doing well. Oh, not now because the general came. Uh, we need to go help. I feel like I need to push that line back. I feel like I need to push them back a little bit. Okay, oh, I was going to say that they're doing by, by their own. They could actually take out the general. No, I guess not. Uh, we lost. Oh, shoot. We were doing so well. And then my guy right here, he's just going against... Oh, I was going to say, he's going against peasants, but he's getting heavily outnumbered. I don't think he would, um... That should do much. Um... I guess I can hold these guys back. I should have with Riley my, um... My heavy, but they're gone. Yeah, they're gone from battle. In uh, yeah, they're gone. Oh, they're coming back. See, but if we take out the general, they probably wouldn't. Yeah, it's only just four. There's only five of them left on the field. So we just lost like. Most of our por or portion of our forces, so yeah, that's that's very that's bad. That's very bad. Uh, and they're not fully fresh. That's the worst part. Is they're not fully fresh in battle. Ooh, we was doing damage. Oh, we got broke. We broke them. My cousin just broke them. And we lost. See, see the general though, compared to my general. This general is actually in and uh, uh, um, male. As in my general, he's just uh, mounted men in arms. The general that we were fighting, he was actually in chain mail, so he, he's a tougher unit to fight off uh, against when it comes to close quarters. But that's why I'm going to end it today. Uh, I'm going to do some offline gameplay on this game just to level up my troops and stuff. I'm not. I'm not going to like um recruit like any new squads unless 
it's an actual recorded gameplay and um eventually we're going to do this mission also but this mission is more harder because it, it actually got professional troops it actually got some reasonable amount of professional troops like um these guys right here light spearmen light swordsmen and these swordsmen are actually equipped with the swordsmen that I have. They have like the swords that that my swordsmen got. So they're gonna be also tougher guys to kill. But they're not heavy, so that's the that's the good part. At least they're not heavy. Like the ones that we had to deal with in chapter three. Uh yeah, they got like uh these wagons that we need to capture and then they got like three groups of cavalrymen. Right at the back, these guys. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here today. Uh, hope y'all doing well and make it through this quarantine. I'm just doing this just to have y'all something to watch, you know. Cause I know there's not a lot, a lot of things to do out there, you know. You know you got this disease that making us feel like there's nothing really to do in our lives, and it's just making us feel miserable. So. So hope y'all make it through and have a good day. Uh, I will upload some more videos soon of me commentating. Feel free to uh, subscribe, leave a like, and comment on today's video. And I hope y'all have a good day. Bye.